Hi, my name is Srinath, and here at the ANU, I study a Bachelor of Science Psychology and a Bachelor of Finance. Today, we'll be focusing on overflowing surface tension. Surface tension is the tendency of a fluid to shrink down to the minimum possible surface area. This tendency makes water behave as if it has an elastic film over the top. This is created by the slightly negative hydrogen molecules and the slightly positive oxygen molecules, which attract together and create a hydrogen bond. In the middle of a body of water, these bonds go out in all directions and therefore holds the water together. However, on the surface of water or any fluid, this tendency only goes inwards and tangentially across which then makes a film as there is no outward upward connection as the only thing there would be air. This is exampled by water droplets which will tend to form little bubbles on top of surfaces. For this experiment you'll also need to understand displacement. When we're talking about displacement we are talking about Archimedes principle which states that a body submerged in a fluid will experience upward thrust equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. What this means is if you put an object in a fluid such as water, the water will rise equal to the volume of the body placed in the water. To demonstrate this, here we have a clear glass. I've already pre-marked where I'll fill up the water to. And when we place a body such as this ball into the fluid, this will raise the water level. This is because the ball, the volume of the ball takes up space in the glass, forcing the water out. So as you can see, the water level has risen very slightly. This is because the volume of the ball is quite small and therefore the displacement is quite small. However, if you were to put another object, something heavier such as a weight or this ring into the glass, the displacement would be much greater. Now that covers the background. Now we're gonna move on to the experiment. For that, we're gonna to have to start fresh. That's better. Now for the experiment. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna fill up the glass. When we're filling up the glass, we wanna get as close to the top as possible. This is because the volume of these paper clips is quite small. So when we're trying to create overflowing surface tension, this is gonna be quite difficult with smaller objects. Now the next step will be to individually place one or two paper clips at a time into the water. And what this will do is each time we place a paper clip into the water, this is going to displace a certain amount of fluid. And when this happens, it's pushing the water ever so slightly more and more to the top. And soon the tension that keeps the water to hug the lip of the glass will be too small relative to gravity and the water will spill out. If it still doesn't work, there's only one other option, to use a heavier object. For example, the ring from before. As you can see here, the surface tension created by the water was not great enough to withstand the forces of gravity which want the water to fall on the outside and therefore creating spillage. Additionally, this table is wet. This plate would have saved it. Next, next time, I should remember this plate and you should too. So that concludes the experiment. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I did. There are other ways you can do this. For example, you could put the heavier objects first and then take turns placing paper clips in to see who can make the water spill. Alternatively, you could add water droplets one by one in order to create the same effect. Hope you enjoyed this experiment.